Hi, I'm Dr. Wooler. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my feeling towards biomedical intervention in autism and why I feel it's so important to implement a biomedical approach for your child. Now, I've talked a lot on the videos on this website, many of the lectures that I do around the country, about the importance of biomedical intervention, but I want you to recognize one thing. When we're looking at implementing biomedical program, whether it's diet, supplements, etc., what we're really talking about is doing assessment of underlying medical issues. Okay, so what that means is, is we're doing testing, specifically urine testing, stool testing, blood testing to look for imbalances. It could be nutritional imbalances like vitamins and minerals, amino acids, essential fats. It could be di for digestive problems, you know, kids not digesting the food appropriately, they have chronic diarrhea, chronic constipation. It could be for other biochemical imbalances. Now, I think we can all agree that regardless of an individual's diagnosis, okay, so to me, the diagnosis of autism as being a label for many kids is exclusionary from the stamp, uh, excludes them from actually getting medical treatment under, um, even though that child may be suffering with an underlying medical disorder. Well, as a biomedical specialist, first and foremost, I want to know what's going on health-wise with that child, and that's why we do the kind of testing we do. You know, I can't indicate specifically that one therapy is going to treat specifically a core set of symptoms or make them all disappear. But what I can tell you is when you look at things medically, when you look at things from a diagnostic standpoint and address the underlying medical needs, in many cases, an individual's autism can improve and in some cases actually go away. So the, the whole approach of biomedicine is just that. It's to optimize potential. It's to evaluate underlying medical issues and address them medically. Whether the, the diagnosis of autism is there or not, you know, shouldn't take away from the traditional medical community from actually doing some specific diagnostic testing to make sure that you know, your specific child is as healthy as they can be. It just takes unique and specialized um, a physician's approach you know, in order to how to implement some of the, the, the testing and the therapies that we do, but as just a step back is to understand that what we're doing is trying to optimize the potential of an individual. Um, and the way we do that is work at things from a nutritional standpoint, supplement standpoint, and a diagnostic testing standpoint. Thanks.